It is San Jose Earthquake Soccer here in Telemundo 48. Welcome to a beautiful Saturday afternoon, a perfect day for soccer in Avaya Stadium. Today, the Earthquakes host the Colorado Rapids on a pivotal game for playoff contention. And we have a great turnout today here at Avaya Stadium, a sunny Saturday. Perfect for soccer, and this is Matias Almeida starting 11 with Daniel Vega on goal. Nick Lima on the right. Flo Youngworth and Harold Cummings will be at center backs. Tommy Thompson on the left. Jackson Ewell and Judson will be in the two-man line behind Cristian Espinosa, Magnus Eriksson, and Vaco on the left. And of course, up front, the MLS goal king, Chris Wondolowski. We'll see if Neat Lima and Thompson flip sides once the game starts. And this is Colorado Rapids interim coach Connor Casey's starting 11 with Clint Irwin on goal, Keegan Rosenberry, Lala Sabubakar, Tommy Smith, and Sam Vines. Danny Wilson, the sole holding midfielder with Sam Nicholson, Kelly Nacosta, Diego Rubio, Jonathan Lewis, and Kay Kamara up front. And there you see Matias Almeida, who won the 1996 Olympic silver medal with Argentina losing to Nigeria. And here we go. This is for Youngworth. Nice long ball for Tommy Thompson, who is on the right. Thompson on the box for Espinosa. That's a good ball. The cross, he scores! Chris Wondolowski scores for San Jose. The Earthquakes strike first, strike early. It is 1-0 San Jose. What a start for Matias Almeida's side. I don't know if Wondolowski put it in or it was an own goal by Abubakar. It doesn't matter. San Jose draws first blood. What a perfect start for a perfect afternoon. It's 1-0. And here comes San Jose, and this by Dewey. Salinas, three on three. Shea, what are you going to do? Shea, he has it. Shea has it. Oh, my, my, my. Good night, everyone. Goal, San Jose. Shea Salinas, the super sub, does it again. It's three nothing, Quakes. And this is the good night goal. The three points will stay with Almeida's team. What a win. In a pivotal game for playoff contention, the Quakes keep the points 3-0. Let's say with the Tritons a bit more. Uh, their men's cross-country team debuted at number 18 at the National Coaches Bowl, and tomorrow is the 18th annual row for the Cure at Mission Bay. Their men's soccer team beat CSU San Bernardino 1-0 with Jeff Powers scoring the lone goal of the match. Debo 100%, Brandon, the Yak brothers with yeah. George Kittle. We're going to see a lot of Yak today. He's about to change his last name from Brandon Ayuk to Brandon Ayak. I think he should, uh, with a Y-A-C, not Y-U-K. Uh -huh. uh, I think as long as Jimmy's there, we should be fine. Soy Carlos Mauricio Ramírez, y tú estás viendo Telemundo 20. Vamos con Carlos Mauricio y un avance de la información deportiva. All right, on this Friday night, time for sports. Carlos Ramirez, our buddy, filling in. Los Media Rojas, hace que seis horas. Y media. El tercer, el tercer juego de la Serie Mundial. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué tal está la cosa? Bueno. Depende de cómo lo quieran ver, Guadalupe. El juego está muy bueno. Eh, de hecho, íbamos a abrir este segmento de noticiero con el resumen del tercer juego de la Serie Mundial. Eh, ningún equipo ha remontado un 3-0 es lo que quieren evitar los odios de Los Ángeles, pero resulta que estamos en presencia del juego más largo en la historia de la Serie Mundial. 14 de febrero del 2019, hace 10 meses fue la última vez que Diego Lainez marcó un gol con su club, el Betis de Sevilla. Hoy, ante el Antoniano de Lebrija de tercera división, el mexicano buscaba saciar la sed de goles, esta vez en la Copa del Rey. Mucha lluvia, mucho Diego Lainez, ¿eh? hoy contra el Atlético Antoniano. Primer tiempo, Lainez prueba de media distancia, pero su zurdazo se va por arriba, avisaba a Diego. Al 14, torrencial aguacero y Lainez es derribado. En el área para penal a favor del Betis, Cristian Tello, el ex Barcelona, lo convertía 1-0 Betis. Segundo 